Hi everybody, this is Jordan Guerin, the Vault Master, uh, webmaster of bmoviefilmvault.com, and it's appendages, the news vaults, and the vault cast. We like the word vault. Um, this is my first ever vlog. Um, I've been wanting to create more content for YouTube, for my channel, and I figured this is probably the easiest way to do it at the moment. Uh, and please excuse the background. Uh, I know this is pretty awesome. Look at all these cool coats. And then look at all these cool shoes on the floor. Uh, at some point, I'm just going to move this equipment into the bedroom. And then you guys could just gawk at my movie collection behind me when I talk about stuff you don't care about. So, um, the main thing I want to do today, though, is just, you know, say, hey, I have a vlog. And also to just thank everybody. Um, not only for visiting this site over the years. The vault's been online since 2000. Um... And we've made some great leaps and strides. Uh, it went from being this black and lime green eyesore with poorly written reviews to a legit website with slightly better reviews. Um, started a podcast, the start of the news vault. And, you know, it's just, I've been seeing great strides in how much traffic that the whole thing is bringing in. And I've met some great people. And I've gotten to go to a lot of cool events, and you know, it's just it's just been a really huge pleasure doing it over the years. It's just a hobby and a labor of love, and I don't make any money doing it. And what money I do make goes right back into the site. But I'm enjoying doing it, even though it's become like a second full-time job. So thank you all who visit and interact with me online. You make it all worthwhile. Um, and also thank you, I don't know who to thank, honestly, but The Vault was nominated for a Rondo Hatton Classic Horror Award just last week. Um, and for years I've kind of wanted one, or at least, you know, wanted to be nominated, because uh, it's like, what, what do I want to say? Uh, not so much vindication for what I've been doing, because, you know... When you, when you do stuff like this, I mean, there's obviously people say, wow, that's really cool, you have a website, and then you have people say, like, uh, isn't there better things to do with your life than sit in front of a computer all day and write about crappy movies? And, um, there is, obviously, but uh, I, I think being nominated for an award like that means that enough people think that what you're doing is worthwhile, and it totally, it means the world to me. Um, and like I said, I don't know who comes up with the list of nominees or how that's done, but thank you. Thank you so much. So there's probably some of you that are scratching your heads right now, and they're like, well, what's the, uh, what's the deal here with the uh, Classic Horror Awards? Like, who's Rondo Hatton, first of all? Um, he was an actor back in the 30s and 40s. Um, he'd served in the military during World War I, and for a while was a journalist. And then I don't know how he got into acting, honestly. Um, but he had this very defined face, um, because he suffered from a disease called acromegaly, um, which basically his pituitary gland was in overdrive even after he's like, went through puberty and finished becoming a fully grown man. Um, so it kind of elongated his jaw and gave him more pronounced brow. And somebody saw him and said, hey, you'd be great for movies. We're going to make you a gangster or a serial killer or a monster. Um, so that's kind of like his career in a nutshell. Um, and here, let me tell you an additional fact. Having an overactive pituitary gland will not turn you into a cicada monster like in 1982's The Beast Within. You know, so. The more you know. I'll put a hashtag right here. The more you know. So the Horror Awards, uh, I guess they, I don't know why they chose Rondo's visage for the award, but it's a really cool looking thing. Maybe I can superimpose one here. Oh, block these coats. And, um, yeah, they started in 2002 um, by David Colton and Carrie Gamble. Um, and they're a fan-based award. It's just they, they, they get a list of nominees every year of movies and magazines and artists and websites that are, uh, you know, just doing a great job promoting the horror and sci-fi genres. And, uh, yeah, that's that's all it really is. And then people like you vote in this. Um, you just got to go to their website, rondoaward.com, 
the entire ballot is right there on the page and you copy everything uh, paste it into an email with your choices and then you mail it in and uh, yeah and then sometime in early April they choose the winners and announce them and then you get a cool like a uh, bust of Rondo Hatton or uh, I think you get like a plaque too in some cases but um, yeah I mean it's not like you know an Oscar or an Emmy or anything but for people like me just toiling away daily on a website uh, it's I it might as well be so if you like what I've been doing if you follow the vault on Facebook or on Twitter um, you know please vote for me in this award would be huge it would be huge to win it um, and honestly I don't really expect to win it there's a lot of competition there's sites that have been online that generate so much more content than I do um, but it's just cool to be listed with them and it means a lot like I said and uh, hopefully going forward even if I don't win maybe next year I'll become a nominee again so uh, we'll see so thanks for watching everybody stay tuned for more vlogs and trailers and stuff uh, more reviews on the site and definitely more news and posts at the news vault uh, as for the vault cast we're kind of on hiatus until I can link up with silent Steve to record some new stuff uh, but I have a feeling that's gonna be happening very soon so, uh, yes, once again, thank you, thank you, everybody, so much, and uh, I'll see you next time. Oh, I'm into the wild. <laughs>